Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will use Pathwave ADS to design and implement a branch line coupler which is also called a quadrature hybrid. So this is the schematic of such a quadrature hybrid and uh, it is a four port device. So P1, P2, P3 and P4 forms the four ports and there are two horizontal transmission lines each having characteristic impedance z0 over square root 2 so z0 is normally 50 ohm so this will total be 35.35 ohm or so and the electrical length of all these transmission lines here uh, these four transmission line is lambda by 4 which is a quarter wave length or 90 degrees the vertical transmission line have characteristic impedance of z0 which is 50 ohm these four transmission lines at the four corners are just for connecting this the main you know the box or the branch line coupler to the outside world and the length of the this uh, doesn't matter it is just a matter of convenience you know how much length you need to solder the sma connector so if i may show you how such a coupler may look like in real life is you know the one example will be you know this kind of layout when you implement this on pcb so you have this 35.35 ohm characteristic impedance line and this 50 ohm transmission line here and here so this forms the basic coupler and then you need some transmission line sections that i just showed in the blue color to connect it to the outside world so there are four sma connectors that you need to solder right, for each of those four ports so in this tutorial we will start from the scratch we will first simulate the uh, this coupler using ideal transmission lines in ads and then we will transform those ideal transmission lines into an equivalent microstrip version and then we will also perform the uh, uh, we will also do the layout and perform the electromagnetic simulation and generate the gerber file so without further ado let's go here and start the project so uh, file new pro workspace and let's call it uh, branch line branch oh, line coupler and maybe demo so branch branch line coupler demo and normally i uh, set the layout technology because now we are going to do the layout so this this will be important that we you know highlight this or check this one in the in the beginning so create workspace and we i'm going to use the mill resolution for now uh, and say finish and let's go ahead and um, create a schematic first the ideal schematic so i will call it uh, blc branch line coupler ideal and create a schematic so here is the blank schematic and to make the coupler schematic what we'll do is we'll go here t line ideal and grab a transmission line so this one is maybe my horizontal transmission line and control r to rotate this and put it here and escape so this one is my horizontal transmission line which should be 35.35 ohm z naught over square root 2 and my center frequency suppose i'm going to design it for 1.5 gigahertz i will just write 1.5 here 1.5 gigahertz and this should be the 50 ohm z naught so i have this horizontal transmission line electrical length 90 degrees and z naught over square root 2 and the z naught and 90 degrees right now i can just copy and paste it here for now and copy and paste so that forms the basic box of that coupler and i can just grab these wires and connect them together like so so my center frequency or the design frequency is 1.5 gigahertz and i can also press f5 for example to move it here and move it here so that they just look nicer that's all mouse wheel button to zoom in and zoom out and then i also need connecting lines now in ideal transmission line you need not to have those lines but just let's go ahead and put this for sake of completeness otherwise it is as good as without directly connecting it to the port so 1.5 gigahertz also this length doesn't matter because this is a 50 ohm transmission line so i can just type in 
say for example 20 degrees like you know because these are just supposed to be 50 ohm transmission line enough length so that you can connect it to these you know the original ports here to the sma connector and uh, this point will become perhaps more clear when we complete the design for now i will just put these lines here and connect these like so again as as we are using uh, the ideal transmission lines we not to put t and those kind of thing you as you will see later on and now to simulate i have to go simulation s parameter and grab these pores this four port device and connect these four ports here why do I always do this step, like use the ideal transmission line first? Because that tells me, okay, what kind of performance I should be expecting from the real device. So that's why I always, any design I do, I always first try with the ideal transmission line. That way I know what to expect from the real transmission line device. Or or the microstrip version. So uh, this seems to be the complete, these four, uh, connecting transmission lines that the one that was shown in the blue here those four transmission line and I didn't mention the electrical length because they are just for connection and if you look the impedance from here if you apply the formula of input impedance from here so irrespective of the electrical length of this this impedance will always be 50 ohm so that's why this length doesn't matter and each of those are defined electrical length are defined at you know, 1.5 gigahertz so this is very important the, all of these should be 90 degrees at 1.5 gigahertz it's very important now um, to simulate this i will just put s parameter uh, simulator controller here maybe zoom in a bit and put this one here and then zoom fit and let's simulate it i generally simulate it from you know uh, 0.5 gigahertz below point five yards above the center frequency well, let's see you know uh, we are we are not interested in looking at too much peak so maybe five megahertz or 201 number of points is enough from one to two gigahertz and um, everything looks perfect let's go ahead and simulate this all right so we have this rectangular plot so let's plot s11 and s14 maybe uh, or s4 sorry s11 and maybe s41 together because they look similar so at 1.5 we wanted high isolation and uh, good return loss so that's what we see and of course this is the ideal performance so that's what we should see and then we should also plot the transmissions the s21 uh, and S31 and add select DB here and press OK. So this is how it looks like the 3 DB at the center frequency. Okay, and well, the bandwidth is not that much as we expected. And then what else do we need to plot? So S, S, S11, S21, S31, S41. We also need to plot phase. So to plot phase, what we can do is we can just type in this, add S21 phase and press OK. And remember, we, we are in branch line coupler, we are interested in the phase of, you know, the, the relative phase of these or phase difference of these two signals. So because this is a quadrature hybrid, so the phase is supposed to be 90 degrees at the design frequency. So let's go ahead and edit this. Just double click on this this one, or you can also double click on this one, I hope. And you go to trans, uh, trace expression and change this because these are all logarithmic kind of a scale. So control V and change this to S31. So we are just plotting the phase difference of on unripe phase difference of S21 and S31 and that will because these the phase and you know the of complex number works like you know the logarithmic so it will just be equal to phase of S21 minus S31 press OK. So what we see here is basically that phase difference of 90 degrees um that we wanted at the design frequency so so far so good like you know this is what we should expect from ideal um, uh, transmission line looks very very perfect at the design frequency 
and uh, when we are in the next step we will convert all this to micro strip design and we'll see how that you know that that deviates from this ideal characteristic so for now we'll stop here and we'll return back when we start changing this to micro strip design